South China Morning Post, 13th of June 2023, U.S. Export Controls and Crackdown on Chinese Military Pilots Flight Training. 43 organizations were added to the entity list due to national security concerns, including a security company that Eric Prince, the founder of Blackwater, formerly headed. Another target was the Test Flying Academy of South Africa, a flight school under fire for hiring former British military pilots to instruct Chinese pilots. The Biden administration expanded a list of 43 companies on Monday to include Frontier Services Group Limited, a security and aviation firm formerly led by Eric Prince, for its involvement in training Chinese military pilots and other actions that threaten U.S. national security. The Test Flying Academy of South Africa was also on the U.S. Commerce Department's entity list. British authorities are investigating this flying school for hiring British ex-military pilots to teach Chinese military pilots. Companies on the list are prohibited from obtaining U.S. exports because their operations are considered against U.S. interests. The newly added locations include Frontier Services Group facilities in China. Kenya, Laos, and the United Arab Emirates, TFASA facilities in South Africa, China, the United Arab Emirates, and the United Kingdom, and Aviation Industry Corporation of China, AVIC, facilities in China and South Africa. The businesses were not immediately available for comment. The Commerce Department stated in a release that companies had been added to the list to purchase U.S. origin goods supporting China's military modernization, including hypersonic weapons development and hypersonic flight modeling. This is in addition to recruiting Western pilots to train People's Liberation Army pilots on Western aircraft maneuvers. For records regarding China's fighter jets, Australian authorities searched the residence of an ex-UK pilot. According to Matthew Axelrod, a commerce official, it is essential that we stop China from acquiring U.S. technologies and know-how to support their military modernization programs. In total, 31 Chinese organizations were added to the list. Shanghai Supercomputing Technology Company Limited was included for providing cloud-based supercomputing capabilities to help hypersonics research. Due to their support of Pakistan's ballistic missile development and other weapons activities, nine Chinese and Pakistani businesses were added. Additionally, two corporations were added for aiding China's violation of human rights, notably its persecution of Uyghur Muslims and other members of other minority groups in western China's Xinjiang region. According to the Commerce Department, Beijing-based Ryan Wendy Science and Technology Company purchases and distributes mobile phone inspection software, fingerprint analysis technology, biostatistics software, and DNA testing supplies to public security bureaus across China. The PLA Air Force of China wants to enhance pilot education for J-20 combat fighters. The Xinjiang Production and Construction Corps which is on the entity list, and public service bureaus in Xinjiang receive biotech supplies from Xinjiang Kahuahekang Biological Science and Technology Company Limited. Over a million individuals, primarily Uyghurs and Muslim minorities, are thought to have been imprisoned in camps in China's western region of Xinjiang in recent years, according to UN experts and rights organizations. Many of those jailed claim they were subjected to ideological training and mistreatment. China has refuted every abuse claim. On Monday, the U.S. removed Latvia's fiber optic solutions from the entity list. Because of its contributions to the Russian military and defense industrial base, fiber optic solutions, a manufacturer of fiber optic gyroscopes and other equipment, was added to the list in December. The creator of the security company Blackwater was a private security executive named Eric Prince. According to his LinkedIn page, Prince served as vice chair of Frontier Services Group from 2014 until 2021.